friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I am excited to be sharing with you today what I have packed in my hospital bag for baby number two. I did two of these videos for my last pregnancy with my son and I had a whole video dedicated to what was in the hospital bag for the baby and then a whole separate video for what was in my hospital bag. This time I'm doing things differently and I have just one bag for both the baby and for me. So I learned some lessons from my previous experience. I did not need nearly as much as I thought I did. So this time I'm just trying to be very minimal-ish <laughs> with what I'm packing and just have everything in one bag. That being said, if you're watching this, trying to get some ideas for what to pack in your hospital bag, pack whatever you want. Whatever you think you want or need, whatever you think might bring you comfort, just pack it. It's really not that big of a deal if you have a few different bags. Just bring whatever you want and don't let anyone try to sway you one way or the other. With that being said, I will go ahead and link anything I can in the description box for you. That way if you are trying to get some ideas you can go ahead and click on some of the links that I have listed for you. So let's get right into it. I have this bag packed to just about full. Um, so I'll start with the bag itself. This is a weekender bag that I got off of Amazon when I was pregnant with my son. I've used it while traveling and then I also used it as my hospital bag last time and I love it. I think it's the perfect size for what I need. It has these nice handles here and then it also has a shoulder strap. Um, so it's not on wheels. I know some people prefer to just pack a suitcase, um, but I think this bag, for me anyways, is the perfect size. I have a few things for my husband packed in here as well, um, but he's going to be in charge of packing his own bag and packing the snacks. So um, I'm not going to go into whatever he's packing, but I do have a few things for him in here. The first being a pair of flip-flops for the shower, that way our feet, I don't know, something about walking around barefoot in a hospital just is not appealing to me. So I got some very inexpensive Old Navy flip-flops for us to wear while we're in the shower. And then when, whenever we leave the hospital, we're just gonna throw these away. So that's why I went with the really inexpensive pair. The next set of things I have in the bag are all of our toiletries. So this, the basics, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, deodorant, that kind of thing. A couple things I really wanna mention that I think are important in case you are packing your hospital bag. Make sure you bring chapstick because being in that hospital room where it's really dry and cold, um, your lips are gonna get so dry and chapped very quickly. So make sure that you have chapstick, not only for yourself, but for whoever's gonna be with you during your stay as well. So I have a few different um, tubes of chapstick in here. And then a lesson learned from our last hospital stay when we had our son, my husband ended up having some an upset stomach and I think he had a headache at some point and we didn't bring anything for him. And since he was not a patient at the hospital, the hospital couldn't give him anything either. So he just kind of was unfortunately suffering through <laughs> whatever was bothering him. And this time I made sure to stock up on some Tylenol and Ibuprofen, some Tums, some Pepto. That way we have a few different things covered for him in case he needs to take something while we're there. The other thing I wanted to mention, I guess you could use baby wipes if you wanted, but I just got some of those like facial cleansing towels for myself just if I want to freshen up at some point when we're there. And then, um, yeah, other than that, there's just the basic toiletry items in this bag. In this little compartment here, this came with the Weekender bag. It's just like a, I think it's supposed to be like a makeup bag or something. Um, I just stuffed a bunch of random things in here. So I have hair ties and a headband, bobby pins, a hair clip, and then a little mini wet brush. So can brush my hair. I also have this 
bottle of Hello Bello hand sanitizer spray. I wear glasses, so I made sure to pack a separate thing of glasses, a uh, lens cleaner, and a little cloth to clean off my glasses with because those things get so dirty so quickly. I also have in this bag a couple pacifiers for baby girl. I honestly don't even know if we're going to be offering this to her right away, if at all, but I have it packed in here just in case we decide to do that. This is one of my absolute favorite postpartum items that I had last time around. This is the Earth Mama Organic Nipple Butter. I tried a Lansano one and I tried the Honest Company one and this one by far was my favorite. So I purchased some again for this time around. And the thing I love about this is not only is it organic, but it it works really well for one. And you don't have to wash it off before you nurse your baby and some of the other ones you do. So I like that I can just put this on and then I don't have to worry about it after that. So this is a highly, highly recommend product um, for any new mom out there. Last couple things in this, in this little bag, I just have some burp cloths and then I have nursing pads. I am already leaking. So I already need these and I know once we get to the hospital and have the baby I will for sure need them at that point too so I have a few packed in here another postpartum must-have in my opinion are these always discreet disposable adult diapers um, last time around I tried out the hospital grade mesh underwear and the ginormous pads that they give you um, I did not like that. I did not feel comfortable in that at all. The pad kept getting like really bunched up and it was just not, it was just not it for me. And I had some of these on hand because I had heard a lot of people recommend them and I am a fan. These are so much more comfortable. They don't bunch up in weird ways and they are very absorbent. So I highly, highly recommend these and I have quite a nice stash here that I'm taking with me to the hospital this time around. The next set of items I have here are all for me. I only have two sets of clothes in here. So I have this little lounge set. It's just like a set of pants and a shirt from, I got this at the Abercrombie outlet a few months ago and it's, they're both just like really loose fitting um, like a waffle knit type uh, lounge set. So I have that. I might wear that as like my coming home outfit. And then I also have a pair of loose fitting black capris and just like a really simple loose fit v-neck uh, t-shirt. Super simple, nothing fancy. Um, and then I also have a nursing bra and a nursing tank. It's just this robe. It's a maternity robe that I got off of Amazon and I got it to kind of match baby girl's um, little swaddle that I have for her and her coming home outfit. But it's just a really simple, it's kind of hard to show at this angle, but it's just a really simple lightweight robe. It has pockets, which I love. And then it has the attached little tie. Um, so just something a little more comfortable than the hospital gown to wear after she's born. So as far as items that I have packed specifically for myself, that's pretty much it. I will be bringing a bag of like um, just a few small makeup items, uh, but I won't put that in my bag until it's go time. So I'm not bringing like a whole, you know, my whole makeup set, but I will be bringing just a few items in case I want to put some makeup on to take pictures or something like that. So I'll throw that in the bag at the last minute. But everything else in here, just a few more things, are all for baby girl. So I do have a pack of wipes in here for her because I think the hospital only provides washcloths. So I am bringing a pack of wipes. At this point, I don't even have diapers in here for her. Um, I think we might just use whatever the hospital gives us and then start using our diaper stash here at home once we get back home from the hospital. So 
I just have the wipes in there. And then also for baby girl, I'm not bringing a whole lot of clothes with my son Jameson. When we were in the hospital, we did tons of skin to skin time between both me and my husband with him. So there were times where he was just literally in a diaper and then we had a blanket over us. So um, he didn't really need to wear clothes pretty much the entire time we were at the hospital, except for when he was sleeping, he was of course swaddled up. But, um, so because of that, I purposely didn't pack a whole lot of clothes for her, um, since I figured we'd be doing the same thing again this time as far as getting lots of baby snuggles and skin to skin contact in. Speaking of swaddles, I did, I am bringing one specific swaddle. This is the Ollie swaddle. I have zero experience with this particular swaddle. Um, I would never had one with Jameson, but I know a lot of people who swear by this and they are pretty pricey in my opinion. I think they're around 60 or $70 for one swaddle, which in my opinion seems like a lot of money for one swaddle, but I happen to find this one used for around $30. So I'm curious to try this out and this is the one I decided to bring to the hospital with us. Also brought just two um, different little zip up footy pajamas for her. So um, in case we want to put her in something, those are just so simple and easy to put on since they just zip right up. The other thing I have for her, I'm so excited about this, I have a little bow which is just so precious and so cute. Um, I got this from an Etsy Etsy shop. Um, I think it's Kinsey Grace Co. Um, I'll put the link to the shop in the description box below, but I have a bunch of their bows that I bought uh, for her and I'm just bringing this little, this little white one which is so cute. Um, but I have this adorable print. Um, this is from the brand Milkmaid Goods and it's this is their, I think it's the Lucy print. Um, it's so beautiful and this material is so soft. I don't even think I mentioned it. This is a swaddle blanket. Um, and our plan is to swaddle, swaddle her up in this after she's born and take some pictures of her and do like a name announcement, birth announcement photo, that kind of thing um, with this and like the little and have a little bow on her and this set also came with a knotted gown of the same same print which this I decided I wanted um, I wanted this to be her coming home outfit so this is what she'll be wearing when we bring her home um, but the this material is so incredibly soft and one thing that I really love about this brand is that all of their all of their garments are made right here in the US so I love to support companies that manufacture products here in the US I just I am a big fan of that so um, yeah I'm super excited to be using this for baby girl this is something that I also ordered from Etsy. It has her name engraved in it, her first and her middle name, and then it has a place for us to write in the date and time and how much she weighs and all of that, her her birth stats basically. So we're gonna use this to take some birth announcement photos of her wrapped up in her swaddle. It's gonna be great, I'm so excited. The last couple of items I have in the bag are um, this portable sound machine. We brought this one when we were in the hospital with Jameson and we used this even before he was born. We like to sleep with the sound machine on um, and so this was a definite must have this time around. And then I also just have a charging cable for my phone and some headphones as well. I have um, like wireless ear pods that I might bring but just in case I forget or it's not charged or whatever I have just like the regular <laughs> old-fashioned earbuds so that is everything that I have packed in this hospital bag for baby girl and for myself 
let me know in the comments down below what are some of your must-have items to bring when you have your baby in the hospital and if you think I'm missing anything please also let me know as well uh, like I said I try to just keep it very simple this time around since I way overpacked last time I'm kind of debating on whether or not I want to bring um, my own pillow and blanket this time around I did not last time and it's something I'm still considering but I'm not quite positive on that yet um, but yeah that'll do it for this video if you like this kind of content and want to see more please subscribe that way you don't miss any videos that I upload we are getting so close to having this baby girl she could be here literally any day now so um, lots of exciting things to come thank you so much for watching I will see you in my next video very soon bye